it's been a long time coming. For so long, all of you have been waiting. The setbacks, the delays, just so many things prolonging this moment. You no longer have to wait anymore. Because yes, I have finally returned to YouTube. <laughs> I'm just playing. We all know why you're here. Yes, the Final Fantasy 15 Deluxe Edition. What's going on, everybody? It is me, the Elite Ace. It is great to be back. We are live action. You already know what it is. Here to bring you the unboxing of Final Fantasy 15 the Deluxe Edition. Let, let's just stop and look at it. Let's just. Yeah, you already know what it is. So without further ado, let's get an up close and personal look while I get this unboxed. All right, y'all, so here we go. Up close and personal with the Final Fantasy 15 Deluxe Edition. Um, trying to do this right up in glare. As you can see on the front cover, the famous iconic art known throughout the Final Fantasy uh, series. Now they say each and every Final Fantasy that has this type of art style, forget the man's name, shame on me. Um, he has a, it's actually an art book, a Final Fantasy art book, which is just all of his style of art uh, regarding Final Fantasy. Now, they say each one is like pointing out something important, it's like a symbolic message. Um, right here, we see that's the front cover, then we have the spine right here. But let's take a look at the back. Of course, we have the motivator and Noctis. And of course, this comes with the King's Glaive and all the things that it includes for the bonus content. Oh, yes, these things right here. Now, of course, now this is the thing. Of course, the Romasa Blade. Uh, this has been in so many Final Fantasies, damn near every Final Fantasy. The yeah, custom theme skin um, for the car. I think the re re the replica, the reload. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. And of course, the uh, suited up outfit that Noctis has. And uh, yes, King's Glaive. I have seen that movie. A very, very, very good movie. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Let's just go ahead and get this motivator wrap. I wasn't able to get the Ultimate Edition. Damn you Square Enix for making so, so, so little amounts of, uh, you know, very few amounts of the Ultimate Editions. I mean, you know good and damn well how many fans there are of Final Fantasy. You're only going to make that little bit of amount come on out. So, I wasn't able to get it, but I built the next best thing. And I did it off of Amazon. Speaking of which, I got like two, three codes that Amazon sent me that I have to put in, you know, regarding extra content. All right, right here we have the protective sleeve right here, which comes off like so. Let's put that right here. And um, yeah, so I had to work the day this came out. It's a nice, nice rough, rough footage right here, that sandy kind of feel. You know what, I just noticed these motivators right here. You know, some things you'll notice because of the Final Fantasy logo, which was right there covering it on the back. Oh yeah, you know what, let's get it just up. Up close right here. Up close right here. Yeah, so anyway, Elites, I had to work. Actually, let me see. Oh, I see that code. You know what? It's so beautiful, right? Just look at this. This is what it contains. And then, right here we have, I like that disc. I knock this right here. It looks like it's in black and white. Have this. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool, right there. I like that right there. All the, the so many. These are the autographs. You know that a lot of the team has signed right here. Hold on, this is pretty cool. Yep, I knew it. From the Final Fantasy 15 team. You are very welcome. And thank you for making. And another good Final Fantasy. I don't like all Final Fantasies, but I'm liking this one. 
um, just need to pick this up. Which, of course, some people say it's pointless to pick up a hardcover stretch you got because you can just go online. <laughs> it's basically, you know, you can get it for free. However, it's, it's just not the same. To me, it's just not. World of Final Fantasy. Um, no. I'm sorry. Let's see, Final Fantasy, it's only at age. Is this the one on... Oh, a bit. Okay, well, I know a lot of people are excited about this. But, oh, we have the Kingdom Hearts. Man, I wish they, I know they have like 8 million different versions of Kingdom Hearts remastered, and, uh, you know, ones on 3DS. I wish they would just make one super collection for a PS4. I would probably, um, I, I might check out Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. I still might. I just wish they would do it. Um, now the Dra Dragon Quest Builders. What the, oh Lord. What's this, Final Fantasy Online? I was never a fan of that. Yeah, I might check out the Kingdom Hearts. Anyway, right here. We have the King's Glade movie. Very, oh my God, such a good movie. Now I'm telling you, for the ones who haven't seen this movie, watch the little scene after the credits. And for the ones who have seen the movie and never watched the credits after the scene, then yeah, watch the scene after the credits. It will show you exactly where, oh, we got that disc, all right. It'll show you where it's, uh, where it's picking up. Like where, basically where Noctis and the crew will be. To show you exactly where the girl wants the movie ends. But anyway, I had to work on the day this came out. This came in the mail. Oh, my mail slot is not big enough to put the package that just came in inside of. So uh, the office was closed. So I had to basically have to wait until the next day, which is today. But chances are, if you are watching this, I'm already playing Final Fantasy. I'm loving it. In terms of it being open world, I mean, not open world, excuse me. In terms of it being like an action RPG, that's fine. I like action RPGs and turn-based RPGs. Um, what really made me fall in love with action RPGs was the, you know, action games. I was like, it'd be cool if they implement this into an RPG. And then I played Star Ocean, the second story. Fell in love with it. You know, you walk around, and then the battle starts, and then it's like action. Sort of like tale, the Tales of series. Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Spirit, things like that. Um, I don't mind turn based or action. I love it all, man. I like RPGs. I like strategy RPGs. Like Final Fantasy Tactics, um, Front Mission, Disgaea. I, I, I just like RPGs, man. What can I say? So, and in terms of their outfits, I mean, I did a lot of research and interview reading with this. There is literally a reason why they wear those outfits and why um, they represent all black like that. So don't just think they gave them that design, just give them the design. Plus you can have different outfits, but their final, final, final outfit slash clothing and armor was way better. So don't just think that this quote unquote boy band thing I hear people always talking about, don't think this is their look throughout the whole entire game. It's not, so yeah, I'm amped about this. Um, I'm just glad to be back to YouTube. I will put out more videos, of course. I have a whole bunch lined up that I have in mind. Um, yes, I will talk about the next, uh, not the next, the Switch, um, the Bleach novels, um, regarding the message um, Kubo recently put out regarding the final chapter, um, a whole bunch of things of that nature. And yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this. Give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to get it on the Xbox One, but PlayStation 4, the uh, I don't know, just the, the capture feature is a lot more convenient for me. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I did want it on Xbox. Literally, I couldn't tell the difference. I have I have the demo on Xbox. Not, no, not that demo people saying I have the terrible frame rate and uh, going around transforming as a car and an animal. I'm talking about the one that came with Type O, that demo. I forget the name of it, where you're running around the open world, you know, you gotta get the money for the car. I mean, to repair the car. I have that demo on. It looks good. You really, really can't tell a big, big dramatic difference. You just can't. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, that's good for the PS4. Um, let me know if you have it down below. Give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. I really can't wait to start playing this. So I'm here to play this right now. I just have to put out this video, you know. I have to give it a good, you know, eight, nine minute lift. I didn't want to just half ass it and just, oh, forget this. I'm have the hell with this video. Let me just go ahead and play the game. So yeah, it's me, the Elite Ace. Great to be back. Signing off.